Hello everyone, this is Kalyan from Blackbox Tech and in today's episode I will be discussing about translation. How you can provide multi-language support to your Angular application. So there are multiple ways to do that. Like you can use ngx translate to do the translation for you or provide multilingual support. And also uh, you can also provide support of multi-language to your application using Angular CLI. So today I will be uh, mostly showing this uh, Angular CLI way. So without further delay, let's get started. The first thing first, I will create a new application using Angular CLI. Once this is done, I will change my directory to this project. And open using Visual Studio Code. So, I will do a small change in my app.component.html. I will just remove this default text here. Also this one. And within this text, I will try to show you like how to uh, make it configurable for multi-language. So, Let's my uh, default text is welcome So this is my normal uh, text which I am going to translate. So the first thing first, uh, open your terminal and type ng x for extract i i 18 n. So before you trigger this command to extract, we need to tell Angular that this portion we need to be translated so I'll be adding i 18 n here and then I will run this command I'm sorry uh, so So once this is, that is done, you can see a new file has been created by Angular CLI called message.xlf. So if you now open this file, you can see this, uh, this is the whole file and then this is one of the translation unit and this dynamic ID generated by it. And now if I format this document, to make show you like correctly how it's look like so you can see uh, this is our text and this is the source and this ID has been generated dynamically okay so now what we need to do I want this ID uh, not a dynamic one but I need to mention what the ID will be before that I will also show you some of the other things like every file whenever we send this file to the translation team they need to know what the exactly meaning or description of this uh, text so we can do that by providing this i18n directive equal to we can provide a text uh, so this is the title 
and within a pipe the next will be a description of this text this text is to greet the users okay so now if i again run this ng ix it name command this file will be again generated or modified but this time you can see there is two new line has been added by this so one is this meaning is welcome and also the description of this this text is to greet the user and this will be used by your translation team to understand and then create another file with the particular or uh, uh, language code so let's uh, do another thing as I said this ID is coming as dynamic but we want it to be as our own ID so that is very simple so at the end of the text if you so this is the end of the text full stop and then you can add a double at sign and you can add your own ID here and now if I again extract this will be updated and there will be no longer any dynamic ID so now you can see this translation UD, uh, unit ID is whatever you provided so the same way like if you add more text this translation unit will be added accordingly and you can pass the ID as you wanted along with this meaning and description now for an example you provided this file to your translation team and they have created another file after translating the translating this text uh, now i want this text to be spanish so let's go to google translate I'll paste my text here and I want it to be Spanish so this is the Spanish text okay let's copy this now what I'll do I will create a folder in the root itself say for example I will create the folder called local and inside that I will move this message file there and then I will copy and paste it again and this time I will edit the name rename and I will put it at as ES so ES means Spanish so I will do that change and now if you see the source language is en so we want it to be changed as yes and then uh, this text this source let's format it again say and this after source right target And I will paste the uh, text here okay so we are done but to run this I need to do some changes so the changes will be in angular.json file so within this architect we have a configuration and there is a configuration for production right so so this production tag and after this production will create this es thing and will make aot true 
will provide our output path because when you build it will be dist and then i18 translate the name of this your project and then the i18 file will be local within the local we'll have messages.es.xlf file messages.es.xlf and i18 format is xlf and local also yes and i think missing translation so if in case you have missed to provide a particular target then it will throw an error now this is the build but what will about when you run ng serve so this is the serve and also this is the configuration of production so after this we'll write yes this time i will run browser target equal to so what will be that uh, so it will be i 18 n translate then build colon yes so this one will be a targeting here so if you go through that so it's a configuration i18 translate build and browser target i think product build production and i translate build then yes Uh, let's try it out ng serve and then dash dash configuration equal to yes so if it's built correctly when you open this site you should see the text is in Spanish see now you are seeing the text is in Spanish so this is just with a single text but the whole process is similar so you can maintain this flow and also like you can dynamically switch this language and you can create a service and also in, if you are using ngx translate which I will show you later in the next video uh, then it will be a simple JSON rather than an XLF file and it will be also easier to handle those kind of dynamic process to change your language. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.